Let's take a look at the image manager. To find the image manager, you go to a product, either create a new product or take a look at an already established product. The image manager will allow you to have up to five photos. For example, one, two, three, four, five. And here we see that it already has two images. Let's see how this works. If I want to delete an image, I simply click delete. If I want to delete the second image, I delete delete. In order to make those deletions permanent, I hit the save button. Now if I want to add an image, I can add an image from two places. One, I can add it from my desktop, my local computer, or I can upload it from my image file manager. My image file manager is the file on our servers, on FastCommerce servers, for the images that you've already uploaded. Let's take a look at it right here. So these are images that have already been previously uploaded. To select one of these, you simply click on, hit the Done button, and you now have an uploaded image. To go to your local computer, you hit Upload, and that takes you to your local computer where you find the image that you're looking for. It will automatically upload directly to this location and indeed it will also locate it, be located on the image file manager that we just took a look at. Let's try that one more time. The advanced version where you're selecting from online you click a button and it's done. You hit finished and you now have three images. To upload more images you simply click the button here and you can upload more images. That's the image file manager on the product page. Pretty straightforward. Very easy to manage, very quick. Either from drawing from that file manager for all your images that are stored And remember, even though you hit finish or save, you always want to come to the bottom of a product page to make the changes permanent. It looks like it's on the system. The photos look like they're on the system, but they're not on the system until you give the go-ahead to make them permanent. Now there's another couple other places where the image file manager shows up. Uh, there's the home page where you can upload banners and images. There is the category, subcategory manager. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then there's the product description. One of the great things about the fast commerce system is that you can have the three or four or five small areas for the images. And again, you can click on a larger image. Your customers will be able to click on a larger image. But if you want really large images, you can also go to the product description area and upload images to there, either under warranty, accessories, and specifications. And again, we can go here. And then we click on the area for the product description. And we have an HTML editor here. Again, we go to the icon that says Insert Edit Image, which is a picture of a mountain and the sun. We click on that, and that brings up this Insert Image box. Now, there's a lot of fancy stuff here that the engineers at Fast Commerce have brought to us, but we don't need to co concentrate on that. We simply hit the Browse button. That takes us as the image upload manager. This is a little different approach. If we wanted to upload an image from the local computer, we could click the upload again. If we simply want to find an image to upload to the product description, we click on again, click the done button, hit the save button, and the image will come up. 
and it'll come up in a larger form. So if you're an artist and you're selling individual unique items where there's a strength to presenting it in as large a format as possible, Fast Commerce has got the product description area for you. You can add the photograph and then even add more text around it. I'm going to save it here. And since I really don't have time, I want to be as efficient as possible, you can see that it's going to be a large image in the product description. Let's go and take a place, take a look at that other place where the um, image manager has a plays a critical, pivotal role, and that would be in the category management module for categories and subcategories. How is that relevant? Well, let's say we're looking at this subcategory called Detroit Tigers. Let's say that it was in reality picnic baskets. In fact, let's edit it to say. Picnic baskets. Now I don't have any photographs of picnic baskets, but what's great about this is that I do have an HTML editor, okay? And that HTML editor is attached to this edit category module. And once again, I can go get an image. If I were selling picnic baskets, there would be a great idea to upload an image to the category or subcategory for picnic baskets of a family having a picnic in a beautiful park or forest and then have your product descriptions or your products show up beneath them. Okay, how would you do that? You'd go to the image icon again with the mountain and sun. You would go to the browse. You would look for the image that you want to upload in this case our picnic basket will be the Chicago Bears. You hit the save, you hit the done, that loads an image into that product area, and then you hit the save button to save all your changes. Now to see those changes we can go to Picasso, more, more baskets, we can go to Picasso here, And we go to picnic baskets. And there you see the image. Now I've actually got two images stored there and you can see that these images could get quite large. In which case you'll, you may need to manage the images. Uh, and for that you would look into the image file manager a little bit more deeply. Uh, but again, this is a subcategory. You can have an image, you can have messaging, you can have both messaging and images. And that's a very, very effective way of, of uh, offering entertainment uh, you might call it a landing banner for a subcategory uh, that reinforces in a nice way the uh, things that you want to sell. So for example, if you're selling beautiful home furnishings, you might want to have a photograph of those home furnishings in a beautiful house uh, with a beautiful view out the window, etc. And that's something that you can install here and then locate your products down below.